Hi FlossTube, this is Terry. And I'm Jamie. And, and we're, we're the Cornhusker State Stitchers. Stitchers. Today is Saturday, December 18th, 2021, and this is FlossTube number 32. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. So we weren't sure we'd make it back before Christmas, but we wanted to, to get a real quick video in. And... It was time. Yeah. I've been doing some stitching this last week, so had to show it off. And I haven't done a lot. Well, you did a lot the previous I, yeah, week. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. So, so all right. What's what you been started? working on? Um, what you been doing? Two weeks ago. I've been doing inventory at work, so that's consuming a lot of my time. My husband was on a trip, so I got a lot done two weeks ago, but now he's come home and I haven't stitched since. So How dare he? I know, right? <laughs> so, last time we talked, um, I did put a offer, or my husband and I put an offer in on a house, and we did get that accepted. So, thank you guys for your well wishes on that. I appreciate it. So in the last two weeks, we have cleaned our house, we have put it on the market, we have had two open houses, and we have accepted an offer, had an inspection done, and have officially sold our house. That's the red puffy eyes, because yeah. somebody is not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it has been crazy for yeah. the last two weeks, but, yep, so you get a look at this. <laughs> that's what we've been doing. That's that's pretty much it. We did get an email from Teresa um, Wednesday, I think it, the email came in Thursday, but we had a freak system come through, freak front come through, and we had, um, tornadoes, we had seven confirmed tornadoes in the Nebraska. 12. Oh, we had 12? 12, yeah. Okay, in Nebraska and Iowa, we had anywhere from 80 mile an hour to was, 95 mile an hour There was winds. a 93 mile an hour when guests reported at the airport, which is just a mile away from us? Yep. So. Yeah. yeah. And luckily it, I didn't have any damage. No. We the fence in our backyard between our our yard and our neighbors fell over. So I'm really thankful that my neighbor texted me because he's got a dog and we've got three dogs. So that would have been an interesting night. And that was the day before your inspection so yeah. in your house. <laughs> so Jim went out there the next morning, he's screwing it all together, making it stand up again and but we got that taken care of. That was good. Um we lost power at work. I don't even know how long we were out, but our deputy director sent everybody home. There's nothing you can do when there's no power. After so. the storms. <laughs> yeah. The storm, it lasted, what, a grand total of 15 minutes? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was blowing so hard you couldn't see anything, and then the next thing, you're good to go. So. Yeah. So Thank you for everybody who sent text and um, emails. We get several. Um, yeah. Just concerned about us and making sure we're okay. We're, we were okay. Yep. So thank you. We did appreciate that. Not to mention there was the freak tornadoes in Kentucky. So that was that that was miserable. Yes. That was absolutely. Our hearts go out to all of you guys and family, friends of loved ones down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over with there. that, over there, over there, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Where do you want to start at? Well, this is why we make notes, and you didn't want to make notes today. <laughs> this is a wing it kind of day. Okay. So, we start with finishes and previous finishes. Right. I don't have any previous finishes, but mm -hmm. I do have a finish. And this was out of my whip pile. This is Lizzie Kate's Snowy String. Look at that. Pretty simple, quick finish. Um, I did it on Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco. I did the called for DMC with the exception of the red. I changed to 3777. It was called 4606. And then I took out all of the turquoise and replaced it with purple 3740. It looks really pretty. Yeah. It's very you. It is, yeah. I like it. I yeah. love it. It's so cute. Snowy string. Mm -hmm. Do you have any finishes? I do. Let's do your finishes. Oh, well, we forgot questions. So we'll do finishes <laughs> first. We should have written it down. Yeah, this so is, stick around for questions. Yeah, we'll have questions. Um, I was working on this last time. This is my chock full Mary jar, and I'm doing the pillow. I did this on 14 count chalkboard black Ada, and I did make a change. So the reindeer here, I did him in roasted chestnut by Classic Color Works, and then black coffee for his reindeer. And I did stitch the eye on both the reindeer and Santa. So that is actually the, the only two changes I did. That turned out super cute. That is, I like that. My plan is to do all of the seasons of the pillows next year. Finish up what I haven't done already. Um, no, I think we're good. 
Then I also was working on Country Cottage Needleworks, Merry Christmas. I did this one on 28 Count Coffee Tea Dye Monaco, called for colors. Look at you go. Boom. Look at that. I had this one. It was so close to being done. I'm like, this is happening. I'm finishing this one. Same with the Mary. And I tried really hard to finish a third one, but okay. I just couldn't. I need to see it because I haven't seen it. And then you popped it in front of my face. I couldn't see. So. <laughs> That's the point. Okay. Isn't it pretty? That, that is pretty. I love those colors. Yeah. Now, is that called for colors? Yeah, those are called for colors. Okay. Same with Mary. These were called for colors with the exception of the roasted chestnut and black coffee. Yay, I like that. So now that you've, we've enticed you with a little bit of stitching, let's do questions. You want to do questions and then whips? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Let's break up the talking. So the first question, I, I apologize. I'm going to butcher this name. I'm so sorry. Um, Janelita, she asked, what frame did you use for the sampler? So I had answered this question, and then I got to thinking that you might have been talking about moms. So I answered the question on YouTube with, when I did my to-do list by Lizzie Kate, I did it in a driftwood frame from Hobby Lobby. It was in the open frame section. But if you were talking about mom's December sampler. I actually put that in a frame that I had around the house um, back in the, what, the right. 90s, yeah. early 90s. You would just buy these cheap little frames and these pictures that are covered in plastic and shoved in there. And that's what I had in my kitchen mm -hmm. with wine bottles or something on it. I pop that out. It fits. Um, I have too much space at the bottom. That's why I always put the ribbon at the bottom to kind of tie in the bit. tie in the ribbon and stuff from the top and, and to fill in the frame space. But yeah, that's where that frame came from. I'm on the wait list at um, Fat Quarter Shop for one of their frames for those oh, you samples. Are? Yeah, I didn't know and that. I have been for like six months, and yeah. they're just not coming in. So I'm going to use that until something else comes along. It's working out okay, but it's a cheap frame, so it's kind of falling apart already. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I also wanted to talk about my earrings. Um, I don't normally wear dangly earrings, but I had to with these. It's not going to focus very well. But these are snowmen, and they're two-part earrings. Put it up there closer so you can see the little face. See, look at his little adorable. butt. <laughs> well, if I do that, it'll blow out, but that's what he's kind of sort of looking like. But that's cute. They're snowmen and I had to wear them. Okay, next question came from Sandra. She says she loves everything in our videos. Thank you very much. Could you please tell me what type of washers you use with your magnets? Oh, I forgot to grab those. Mm -hmm. um, I just and use a, not stainless steel because that's zinc coated. Zinc, a zinc coated magnet. Just get them at Home Depot. Yep. Any so basically, what you could do is you can go to your hardware store, take a magnet, take a magnet and just see what whatever sticks. sticks to it, and then yep. choose your size. Stainless but. steel is non um, non magnetic, so it won't stick. Yep. Um, the zinc coated ones do stick. Um, same thing that we've talked about in the past: the thicker your washer is with the surface area, the better it's going to stick to your magnet. Um, thicker. Um, thickness wise, basically, that doesn't really matter to a washer. It's just the amount of surface area. Yeah. And I just buy them by the pack of like 25 at Home Depot. And you go to like Ace Hardware or something, mm -hmm. just grab a bunch of them. Yep. Rhonda had asked, she said, could you link the 5x7 frames you got from Amazon? She searched, but she couldn't find it. 5x17? 5x17, by by um, yes, thank you. So, I did. Yes, we can. I can, yes, Jenny can. I've got everything piled up here on top of everything else. So what she's talking about are these frames that I put my winter in. But I have since <clears throat> bought two more. Oh, you did? I did, because <laughs> I, I need to do spring and summer still. So I got this one. And this is how they come. It is on Amazon. It is called Art to Frame. And I just Googled, or I looked on Amazon, typed in 5 by 17 frame, and that's what popped up. So I got the brown one and I got another white one for spring and summer. But we will link it. Absolutely. And on my other white one for winter, if you watched last week, I actually glued these snowflakes on myself. 
So next question comes from DJ B Quilt. She said, how much coffee and tea do you use to dye with? Do we have a video? We don't have a video. No. Um, we watched Priscilla and Chelsea's coffee tea dye video. Yeah. Um, and honestly, we just wing it. Yeah, I just throw some stuff in the pot and... It's been a really long time. It's been a couple years since we've dyed anything. You're very short. I Yeah, thanks. That's your fault. <laughs> You need to raise up a little bit. I feel like a giant. <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> so, no, we don't have a video. We just no. kind of throw stuff in the pot, cook it for... Just watch your video. <laughs> That's all we did. I honestly cannot remember how many tea bags that we threw in. Um, it's been quite a while since we yeah, did it. Yeah. And some of ours came out pretty dark, and they worked for us at the time, but I'm kind of going... I'm Getting reverting. away from it. Yeah. yeah. So... I kind of raise up. There we go. The longer you bake it, the darker... It gets. Mm -hmm. So we bake some quite quite a long time, about 40 minutes, I think, because we wanted it really dark. Yeah. So sorry we can't be more help on that question. Grateful Grammy. Let's see. She said, could you tell us who the designer is on the Primitive Merry Christmas pattern? And that pattern, I have it right here. You'll see it in a second. Is by Abby Rose Designs. And it is the Primitive Merry Christmas pillow. So, you'll see that in a second. Next question comes from Carol. Where did you get the frame for your monthly houses? So, we just talked about that. Yeah. And then Sheila had asked. Um, <laughs> I hadn't read this. <laughs> Jamie, are you trying to copy Chelsea's whip whip? Yes, that's exactly where it came from. And every time I say whips, that pops into my head. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sandy had asked, she said, let's see, she's working on autumn also. She has one letter to finish. Hopefully you get that done soon. Um, can you give me more info on the Amazon frame? Okay. So we did talk about that. Company name would be helpful. And that's that art, to, art frame. to frame. And then we had one question come in an email. So let me pop that open real quick. This was from Darlene. She said that, um, she and adores the waxy moon design winter house trio and she said did you use dmc or all sampler threads so what she's talking about is this one this is mom's finished whip this is like she said waxy moon designs winter house trio and i did use all of the called for gentle arts so i'm sorry i didn't use dmc like you wanted but it is gentle <laughs> arts yep all called for yeah so that turned out really good. Oh, and also, here's Mom's finished Primitive oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. So. You're not done with questions, are you? Yeah, that's it for questions. Um, that one didn't pop up, did it? Oh, so Linda had also asked. She said, who is the my to-do list that I showed last week? Who is that by? She didn't have the exact name either, so. I... Yep. So it's the pattern is called my to-do list, and that's by Lizzie Kate. And then... Maureen. All those popped up when I looked, so you must be overlooking something. Um, It's all your fault. It's all my fault. Okay. Fault. Got it. Okay, so Maureen wanted to know if I had done my spring and summer Cricut collection yet, and I have not, and she wanted to know what I was stitching them on, because some of the, the letters on the patterns look a little washed out. Mm -hmm. So this one is shown on purple. Now, I have not started any of these yet, so everything is fluid. Actually, I started She this. did start them. She started <laughs> them both. Right. But it may get restarted. So I'm doing this on Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco, and I think that'll work out pretty good on that piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And that was Summer. Summer. Summer, Summer, Summer. And then Spring, and I think this is the one she's really talking about because it really blows out those colors. So, I started that a little bit on a coffee tea dyed Monaco that I had. That's actually a tan dyed Monaco, yeah. not coffee tea dyed. Right, you're right. A writ dyed. I didn't like it because it was blowing out the colors. So, I'm going to try it on this piece of, um, it's a very pale yellow. Fortnite it's fabric. It's a Fortnite fabric. Ethel, I think, was their color. It was part of the um, block of the month. That I was subscribing to at the time. Very pale yellow. Yeah. 
so I don't know if you can actually purchase it from them, but I'm going to try it on that, and I think it should work. You good. might have to backstitch something in through yeah. here. You'll have to look at that. Or I may change colors and make them darker. True. To be determined. Stay tuned. Okay, now that is all the questions. If we missed them, we're sorry. Like usual. <laughs> okay, now let's do whips. That's on whip. you. Whip. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard not to do it. Okay, so I'm going back to my roots of being monogamous. Or like Jamie said, binomial. Binogamous. I can't even How say it. How did I say it? Binogamous. Binogamous. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only got two projects going on. So I'll show you my... My nose is running now. Okay. My Teresa Kogut land that I love. This was my 2021 start. And I'm hoping to get it done by the end of the year. But it's not going to happen. You've done so I've much. made a valiant start. Or a valiant try to get it done. I am trying to connect my bottom border to make sure that it matches up and it actually is going to. I finished the strawberries and started working down the side border. And I think everything else you have seen already. I still, the dog may stay. I got to take the cat out because it's just too light. She's already enlisted me to do that. Yeah. I'll take the dog out because she really does want to change the color. But, you know, if I don't get it done this year, if I get it done in January... That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Then I started Up on the Housetop by Teresa Kogut. And I'm doing this on. I sing these songs every time I come, I hear those names. 28 Count Picture This Plus in the color Echo. And that's where I'm at. And I pretty much have changed a lot of the colors. Yeah, you just pulled from stash. Yeah, because that's all I had. Yep. And that's where I'm at on that. And I was working on that at lunchtime when my husband was gone, and he's come home, and <laughs> I haven't worked on it since. Again, how dare he? I know. <laughs> Is that all I want to say about that? That's all I have to say about that that's right there. all I have there. to say about that. Quilting whip? We want to do quilting whip? Sure. Why not? Okay, so I have... I believe this is month 11 of my quilting whip. And I have these two little pieces. This is her forever more block of the month. Now, if you're a quilter, I want to tell you something. Jamie gets frustrated with me because I don't read all the way through the pattern. And I don't cut according to what I know it's going to turn out to be. I read the directions. I do it step by step. And then at the end, it's like, well, I could have done that different. These are all flying geese, and they are cut as half-square triangles. I could have done them just as um, flying partial geese. seams. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And it would have probably turned out, I don't know. I think, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it is. The only reason to do it as flying geese is there's four less seams. Yeah, That's and it. I think it probably would have been quicker. But Anyway, then there's two of these blocks, and they're they're both the same. I'm that's, so excited for this That's one. 11. One more month. Are you going to talk about your month 12? The fact that you lost it. I lost it. <laughs> so, We're part, part of it. my haul, I got my month 12 finishing kit. Well, and my block kit. I was looking for it because I wanted to go ahead and starch my fabric so I could maybe stitch on or cut it today. I couldn't find it anywhere. I was stressing out. I looked at work. I looked at home. I looked in everybody's cars. <laughs> I looked in the recycling. And then it dawned on me that we all took my car the other day. I looked back through my emails to see exactly which day it showed up in the mail. It's like, we went to dinner that day. We all got in my car, and the stuff that was in my back seat ended up clear in the back. Mm -hmm. But this one actually did not make it clear in the back. It slid down in a little crack and ended up, like, what would be the trunk. Going for a ride. So, I got it. I'm excited. It happened. That's month 12. I'm going to get it done. Okay, my three whips. So I was working on those two that I finished. This other one I'm just trying really hard to finish, but I just got too tired. Again, Abby Rose Designs Primitive Merry Christmas. This is done on called for, actually everything is called for, including the fabric. It's 32 count brash. Picture, picture this plus. 
and it's turning out super adorable. So I just need to finish filling in these two leaves and my M. Do you think you'll fully finish that as a pillow or have you decided yet? Uh, I haven't decided. Yeah, that's why mine's still hanging. I don't know what to do with it. And the pillow is super cute, but again, I'd have to do it. <laughs> there is a companion piece to this pattern. Oh, you didn't bring your fully finished piece. Oh, no, I oh. didn't. Oh, crunk. We'll have anyway. to, maybe we can insert a picture of that. Yes. Because it's really cool, Jamie's. Yes. It's a fully finished piece. Yes. Um, there is a companion piece to this, also by Abby Rose Designs, and I want to get that. But mom is amazing and a wonderful mother, and she finished this for me. This was my Country Cottage, we might as well just put it in right here, my Country Cottage Needleworks, let's see, what was it called? Santa's List. And she finished it for me on a um, mailbox that we got from Hobby Lobby probably last year, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, put it on some sticky board, you put a little bit of rickrack around it, yep. and then attached it to the mailbox post. So it stands, you can't see, there's no reference for you, but it's a good two feet, two and a half feet maybe. Or taller. Yeah. yeah. We'll insert the picture, or it's probably already there. Yep. But um, then I put right up at the top above the mailbox, I put a bow, and little, did I put jingle bells in the middle of the bow? I don't remember. Well, think, you'll find out yeah. before we do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to write that down so I don't forget to insert the picture. Okay. And 21 minutes. Okay. So I also decided I'm just going to start some things because these were cross stitches that I've been wanting to start. They're Christmas cross stitches. And if I don't do them now, it's going to be next Christmas before I do them. And then I forget again. So screw it, I'm going to start these. I'm impressed with the moving and everything that you've had going on. You've still done as much stitching as you have. For the record, the first week of this two-week period, I, di I died. I was not a human being at all. <laughs> so this is how it's all been since Monday. I, ha I was a little um, crazy, you could say. So I also started Teresa Kogut's All the Things. I had had this, I've had this kitted up for a while. The called for fabric is picture this plus gingerbread. I did not have that. So I worked with Julie at Reflections Framing and Stitching and she hooked me up with Copper Kettle. So it's really hard to see what it actually looks like, but this is very, very similar to gingerbread. And this is a 32, a 32 count. count. So that's, Copper Kettle by who? It doesn't say. This is by Gart. That's all I got started on this one. But it is a very rich gingerbready color. Yeah, I like that. I mean, you Super can't really tell the difference between that and what's that's, in the picture. That's a lot better. That's a lot closer to what it is. So I started that. Then I also started this one I've had kitted probably close to two years. And it's time. It had to happen. Happy Christmas Row by the Bent Creek. I've already done everything else, so I might as well do this one. Doing this on 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. And I did tweak the colors a little bit. Um, so what I am doing, I am doing, this is not gonna make a difference to you, but I'm doing these colors. So rum raisin, I haven't shown it yet. Rum raisin is one of my favorites. It is, it's a dark maroon, so it's going to be the little balls around there. Black coffee. This is my little swag right here. Can you lift it a little higher? Yeah, a little more effort, thanks. Well, I was trying to not <laughs> intrude on what you had going on there. This and is, then it's just done on, never mind. <laughs> this is um, Dried Time by Gentle Arts, so it's going to be the light green. Juniper by Weak Style Works. That's the dark green. I like that one. And then this last one is Baked Apple. That's the red that I'm currently using by Weak Style Works. So that and Black Coffee are the two that I did change. But, um, I did get that conversion from Priscilla. She had done this quite a while ago, probably in 2019. So... I have decor that is very red, green, and black, more farmhousey than traditional red and green colors. So that's why I did the black. We'll see. 
It, it's a little stark right now, a little dark, so hopefully we'll stick with it. Very good. Very good. I do have plans to start two more. Um, I did not bring those with me, but I'm hoping to have those three more, actually. Three more. Um, Prairie. She's back. I know. <laughs> Prairie Schooler Christmas Eve that Mom got me for Christmas last year. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks Snowman Trio. I saw somebody on Instagram did it on Chalkboard Black Ada. I'm like, that's it. That's how I need to do it. Because it was, it was not popping the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to do that one. And then Dashing Through the Snow by Stony Creek. Those are my three. I'm excited. Cool. Um, I worked a little bit on knitting the past couple of weeks. I need to have something when I'm watching TV. So I'm just doing a very simple scarf. I was supposed to look up what that for stitch Jamie. is. Um, it's just a knit pearl, knit pearl. I don't know if it actually has a name. I piddle a little bit in knitting. I'm not a great knitter. So all of you guys who actually know how to knit, you probably know what that stitch is called. If it's Yeah. Um, some people call it a single rib stitch. This is according to the Google. But So I just knit pearl, knit pearl. And then on the other side, I knit the pearls and purl the knits. That, that, I was going to say fabric. <laughs> Yarn is really, really soft. I like it a lot. I think we got it from Hobby Lobby. Probably. Something like yeah. that. But I thought it, so that fabric... <laughs> There you go again. That yarn will be a good universal yarn. It'll yeah. go with a lot of different colors. Yeah. All right. What else did we skip over? Anything else? Do you have any other whips? Let me slow down and read my notes. You don't have any notes. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, so you have a little bit of haul. A little bit of haul. Then we're going to do a giveaway. We got our, if you haven't gotten your um, December color and cotton, then you could look away. Um, we did get our color and cotton, and it is called Tucson. Tuscan? Tuscan. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to read lately. <laughs> that, okay. that color is great. It's it's got a it's green. kind of a greenish tint. I like it. Um then I got my December floss fix from Fat Quarter Shop, bunch of greens, and floss frenzy from Fat Quarter Shop, which is a bunch of orange. The oranges. November one. <laughs> I did get, um, I forgot to, I didn't get a chance to print them out, but I did buy a couple full coverage patterns last night. <laughs> so I'll show those next time. Yeah. Okay. So we had a giveaway. Oh, giveaways. Yeah, we had a giveaway that you guys entered in last week. Um, we did a random number generator. So what we did is everybody who tagged us. We liked or commented on your post, took a screenshot, we put you in our um, spreadsheet and everything. So then we did a random number generator. We had 23 entries for that. And the number that came out was number six. Did you say what it was? Oh, no, I didn't. Let's... Okay. So it is Number six a... means nothing to you yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. This Keep is this... not our first floss tube. <laughs> Keep the suspense going. That's fine. Okay. So this is a $25 gift certificate to Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. So this is your Instagram name, but it is a unique name, so I think it should be pretty easy. Mickey Morgan Van Pelt. So congratulations. I'm not sure if your name's Mickey or Morgan, but congratulations. Um, be sure to send us an email. There's an email in the description box. Send us your address and we can get this shipped out to you. Yep, we'll get it out right away. So we appreciate everybody entering. That was yes, really fun you. for us to see. And we do apologize for those of you who don't have Instagram. Um, I guess we really didn't think too much about it when we made... Well, we were looking for a different avenue just to get our names out there and let people see everything that you guys are stitching on too and share that in the community. Yeah, so... But, but because of that... That's okay. We're going to have another giveaway. Yes. For everybody. Yes. So this will be the standard entry where you... Are we going into that now? Yep. Yeah, might as well. Okay. Um, you're going to enter on in this um, the comment box for this YouTube video. So if you guys are watching this video, you can enter. Yep. Everybody can enter. Um, you have to like the video. Mm -hmm. You have to be a public subscriber. We have to be able to see that you are subscribed to our channel. Um, the giveaway ends before our next video. 
So I don't know if that will be in two weeks or three. So just keep entering it until our next video. Yep. And we won't draw until we start to film for that video. Yep. Okay. So. Um, the first giveaway was given to us by a subscriber. Mm -hmm. And it is Prairie Schooler um, Santa. 2019 Santa. So how you're going to enter for these, you're going to put a comment in the comment box below and you're going to say something cool about all four of these or whichever ones you want to enter. So if you want to enter for this one. Make, making a sentence doesn't help you win, but it sure is fun yeah, to, it is. to read. So It's not necessary, but it is fun to read them. Santa. Sheep. Sheep. Oh, there's sheep. another one with sheep in it though. Oh, yeah. Santa. 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 So 2019 Santa is just Santa. So then the next one is Plum Street Samplers, Judge Not. That was also given to us by a viewer. And if you would like to enter for this one, put sheep in your comment. Then we have, um, okay, so we're not numbering them, right? So, Correct. Okay. So Starlet Snowflake is the next one. This is a pattern by It's So Emma. So just snowflake? Snowflake. We did not pre-figure this out. So. <laughs> no. We're winging everything we're, today. We're winging it. So and snowflake for that one. The next one is hands-on design. Um, since I finished my um, chock full chart, um, we decided to give this away. This is the Let It Snow Bungalow hands-on design collaboration with Priscilla Blaine. And you're going to say... Bungalow. Bungalow. And you can see it right there. That's how it's spelled. Bungalow. And you just did the, the little one on that one, right? You didn't do the big one? Yeah, this is a whip of mine right now. It's not finished yet. Okay. okay. And then the last one. Because I finished my monthly samplers and I complained every <laughs> month about the fabric that I was using. Doesn't I, mean you're going to complain about it. Doesn't, yeah, you guys will probably or may like it. Um, I am going to give you the remainder of my 32 count linen. This is a 23 by 27 piece. It's just the leftover from, from my kit that I am never going to use again. And since I changed out all of my really tilly and I really didn't like it, I'm going to include two partially used um, skeins, skeins. skeins of really tilly. So there are people out there, like you guys do like really tealy, yeah. and that's perfectly fine. I'm more of a blue person than a teal person. Yeah, every time, and it's pretty, mm -hmm. and it's the same with pink for me. I like pink, but you'll. But when I stitch with it, I like the bolder colors, mm -hmm. so they seem a little faded to me, so I like to make them reds and blues. What do we want to say about this one? Um, that's a very good question. Teal? This, this is a question to you. Um, Fabric? Linen? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's do sampler. 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 S-A-M-P-L-E-R. Okay, so let's run through those again. So we have them straight. Okay. So the first one is the 2019 Santa. We're going to say Santa. Judge not. Sheep. Starlet snowflake. Snowflake. Let it snow bungalow, bungalow. And a 32 count piece of beautiful beige, 32 count, beautiful beige, 23 by 27 piece of linen, and two partially used skeins of really tealy. You'll say sampler. So hopefully we didn't make that too complicated. There's five things that you can enter for. You can enter for all of them. You can enter for just a couple of them. That's your choice. You don't have to enter for any of them. Um, you can only win one. So again, you'll put that in your comment or you'll put those words, whatever you're entering for in your comment below, and we will draw from those next time. And in the same post, um, we want you to tell us what you're hoping Santa will bring you for Christmas. Yes. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, just whatever you're interested in or whatever you're thankful for, for this time of year. Yeah. Or whatever, how, whatever you're looking forward to at the turn of the year. Anybody confused yet? Yeah, how's that? Just talk to us. Talk That's to all you us. gotta do. Just talk to us. Tell us about yourselves. Okay. Um, 
I do want to, on a somber note, um, give my condolences to the family of Pat Carson. Um, she passed away recently, very sad news. So our hearts go out to her family. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Plans? Plans. Uh, do you need to finish saying the spill on the giveaway? It must be 18. Did we do any of that? I feel like we did. I feel like but... we need to start writing things down. It's your fault. <laughs> let's, let's wrap up and get everybody <laughs> on the same page. Okay. For the giveaway. Put your comment below. Enter in whatever you would like to. You must be 18. Be a subscriber. Like the video. Um, we will double check public subscriptions when we do draw for the giveaway. And that drawing won't be until our next video. So you, you will have at least two weeks. I promise you we won't do this before then. Um, and if you have any questions about public subscription, we did put that in our video. I want to say it's two or three videos ago. We did go through how to do that. And you can also Google it. If you don't want to be a public subscriber normally, all you would have to do is be a public subscriber on the day we do the video. Now, I understand you're not going to know when that is. Um, so if you plan on doing that, January 1st is our next video. So do you think we'll be doing a video then? Or do you think it's going to be Sunday? I don't know. Okay. So plan on doing it January 1st. That is Saturday, two weeks from now. And we'll draw then. We'll do a video then. Okay. That's when it's going to happen. Okay. Okay. And maybe the guys will get in here too. Maybe. I promised that a lot. Or didn't promise it. I you implied. That, I implied. And they didn't show up. So well, They were here. We were dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Neither one of us did the videos. So. No. No. So we will get them in when we can. They'll pop in randomly, I'm sure. Okay. Um, with that plans so in the next couple of weeks we got a lot of crap going on well first of all in about an hour we're hoping to head to omaha to see julie at reflections and yep get our supplies on mm -hmm. and then we've got family coming into town at this point that's the current plan we'll yeah. see if that's still the plan um they were supposed to be here today but one of them got sick so <laughs> stay away until you're better eric yeah <laughs> please i don't want to get sick <laughs> Um, then we also have Christmas. Christmas is coming up. Yep. Oh my goodness. That is two weeks away or one week away. And then we have New Year's. Um, it's going to be crazy and up in this house. And then you start moving. Mm hmm Yeah. So. Yep. We'll get there. I'm not we'll happy about her moving. I just want to put that on the record. I'm not happy. I'm happy for her, but right now she lives three blocks away from me. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to be living like 12 Ten. minutes, 12 whole minutes away. <laughs> But it's like so she hard. might as well be in Timbuktu. Timbuktu, for all I know. <laughs> we'll have to have some scheduled play dates. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll survive. Yes, we will okay. survive. Anything um, else? No, I just want to say happy holidays for you guys. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Whatever you guys happy celebrate. Monica. Yep, absolutely. Um, we're just thinking of you guys. This is a time for family and just being together. Um, so keep that in mind. Be kind. Enjoy yourselves. Yes. Um, I did not get a chance to answer everybody's questions from the last video. Not questions. To comment on all of your comments. I try to do that with something more than just a heart. But I'm behind. I will get it done. Mm -hmm. Don't think I have forgotten about you. Yep. So please leave comments because we do love reading them even if we don't get them answered right away. Yep. You guys are our peeps. Yep. With that, you guys have a great holiday season. Like and subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Cornhusker State Stitcher on Instagram at Cornhusker State Stitcher. So I have to write it down. And Jamie at Jamie Mickelson. Yep. That's it. That's it. I yes. thought you had a line after that. Where's our sheet? It's fine. All right. We've said it all. <laughs> it just didn't happen right now. It happened before. Be sure to like and subscribe the video, guys. Yeah, we said that before. Yep, exactly. We'll, we'll write it down next time. Sorry for the randomness of the video. But and hey, gonna... at least we got it in there. <laughs> and now we're ending the video. Right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.